Okay guys, we're back inside of Helldivers 2 and it's going to be an interesting day indeed as we move towards the end of this major order. We're going to talk about that one and it's interesting here because this video is going to be loaded with leaks. Unfortunately, for those of you guys who don't want to partake in the leaks, this may not be the one for you. We've got one Reddit post which seems to have done really, really well and I want to know your guys' opinions on it and then we're going to be moving straight into leak territory. So with that being said, if you haven't already, smash the beautiful blue thumbs up up and subscribe with post notifications turned on it'd be greatly appreciated on top of that check out our sponsor control freak the number one in controller gaming aiming that's right we made it rhyme but not only that if you head down to the description right now click the link and use code cloud plays at checkout it'll get you a cheeky discount so with that being said let's dive on in to what we've got going on inside of hell divers 2 now this one is an interesting one as we've got four hours left for this major order, we have Menken on 100% and Lezatha with also a 100%. So I would be quite confident to say that we will have this one secured. As to what the next moves will be, will be an interesting feat to say the least. And we'll have to see exactly how that one goes. But keep an eye on the major order over the next couple of hours. Mainly because you never know when it comes to Arrowhead. Now you can keep an eye on that via the new apps that are all over the place right now. You've got Drivers Hub on Android and then we obviously have the Stratagem Hero on Apple. Make sure you go ahead and get on those and keep an eye on the major order. Let's see where it is that we can take this next one. Now, moving into a Reddit post which seems to have had a really good response of nearly 10,000 upvotes. I want to know your guys' opinion on this one before we get into the leaks because this one seems to be a bit of a controversial one and I'm not too sure if this is a statistical or if this is just the way that people are generally tending to look at things. But taking a look right here, it states that no one told me about difficulty 7. Now, this is apparently where the tipping point kind of lies. Now, the reason why we're bringing this to your attention because it's because I want to let you guys know and we want to get your guys opinions on where you think that tipping point is and the differentiation or if you think it's all kind of renowned around the player base of who it is you're playing with but it states right here and how much better the players are I didn't attempt difficulty seven for a long time because I don't think of myself as being that hardcore and because I didn't want to pressure my co-op friends into high difficulties finally fully upgraded my ship as far as I could without super samples so I did some difficulty six with randos until I got one where I won and it was an absolute S show everybody shooting every patrol hitting themselves with orbitals scattering to every direction committing to unwinnable fights everything you can do wrong seems like a completely different side of things they state after I unlocked seven the people there were like professionals it was a stark difference everyone was chill and they did good work people tag targets or tag patrols to avoid they use the little affirmative negative sorry and thanks things and are generally communicative why did no one tell me i'm having a much better time now and i might never lower the difficulty now for me i sit at around six and seven and i can comfortably say that there is a bit of a flip difference I don't really notice too much of it when you're playing with randoms because playing with randoms for me is a bit of a hit and miss. You kind of find a lot of random people, obviously, and not always is it going to be as fun as I kind of hoped it would be, mainly because I think that trolls are just trolls and trolls aren't difficulty capped. <laughs> at least that's just how I look at it. Let me know what your guys' opinions are via the comment section below. It'd be a really, really interesting one to find out how it is that you guys see the difficulty scaling versus the player base at hand now moving into leak territory so we are going to give you guys the giveaway announcements here today before we move into it if you haven't already Make sure you get involved with the giveaway. We're giving away a copy of Helldivers 2. We have obviously just announced that the most recent one, it was a bit late. I'm fully aware and I apologize. We've just traveled over to Spain. It's been a little bit of a nightmare trying to get all of the equipment set up and everything sorted. But we are going to go in now. So if you guys haven't already and enter into the next one the giveaway is for a copy of Helldivers 2 and if you've already got a copy don't panic we're giving you guys the money equivalent in super credits but to get involved with it all i want is simple 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 
any sort of heart down in the comment section below and we'll pick from one of your comments. Any heart, any color, it doesn't matter. We just want to get involved with it and it would be greatly appreciated. We'll announce it on the community page and in the Discord of nearly 11,000 people strong down in the description. That being said, let's just dive on in to what we've got going on inside of leak territories. So it seems that there is new planetary effects and these ones that do seem to be a little bit crazy. There seems to be a lot of new planetary effects. One of which is my favorite right here, which is the flash floods where the water levels within the marked flood zones will gradually increase at slowing units that enter. Now I love the concept of it. Not too sure I will love the aftermath, but it does seem pretty cool to say the least. We all also have some other ones such as acid geysers where it vents around the map will periodically create an area of corrosive gas which sounds absolutely awful but as well it's definitely sounding a lot better than fire tornadoes no we have a low gravity mode where hell divers can dive and throw further and fall damage is reduced and these are just a few of them there seems to be an absolute shed ton but we're going to dive on in to taking a look at some of those a little later on because i really want to make sure i get the information correct on this one but we have got so much more happening inside of the game including this leak right here which is the icons for a lot of new stratagems and weapons coming to the scene as we know we've got the double auto cannon mech at the top there it looks absolutely awesome we know that's coming we've got the backpack which has got the h on it now i don't know if that's going to be some sort of medical thing that we have seen over recent leaks over the past but it does seem quite interesting there and then we've got a few auto turrets in the bottom left corner including one which looks like a grenade launcher auto turret and a flame thrower auto turret which we have seen previous the thing that i'm quite interested about though is that part at the bottom and because that part at the bottom is an extremely extremely weird leak that i don't really understand and if this is coming to the game then i'm slightly concerned and slightly excited but this right here is a icon for a grav gun now the grav gun is a weird one some gameplay has surfaced where you can see quite comfortably that there's a gun which is essentially moving any item on the map now i'm hoping this is not a real item and this is mainly for like developer purpose or something I, I don't know but this could be used for absolutely anything now it would change the game greatly if this was used for something like a sort of map creator or something like that that would be absolutely nutty and i think that the concept of that in its own little mode where you can generate maps would be cool but I think we'd be taking away from the main consensus of what Helldivers 2 actually is. And that does concern me a little bit. But I want to know what your guys' opinions are via the comment section below. I think that it would be a good one. But at the same time, also a nerving one as well. I'm not too sure how to take it. And yeah that's nonetheless but moving into the actual weapon at hand that was from that point is this right here now it's almost like a pistol this pistol has got quite a lot of uh, little bits on the side of it you guys may have recognized this from the final page of the, the war bond that we have outstanding it does look pretty cool it doesn't seem to entertain me too much but we are nonetheless still moving into some more leaks that we have got here because there's so many that we've got at hand some screenshots that you guys will definitely want to see and i am dead genuinely genuinely bonkers about because this one right here looks absolutely nutty an extremely futuristic weapon that we can see unfortunately we've got the screenshot not got any gameplay but this thing looks mad like mad mad it looks so futuristic it's absolutely nutty and as we can see right here this one has got the hell divers icon on the back of it it looks pretty damn cool i love the consensus of what these weapons are bringing to the table and if they want to load them up on my save file then i will take it right now there seems to be a lot more but i'm going to decipher a lot of it today and then bring it to you guys tonight so we are going to be in heavy leak territory over the next 24 hours so please 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 do bear with me but i am trying thank you so much again for watching guys i can't wait to get back home and get rolling on with some really in-depth news videos for you guys so make sure you stay tuned for them if you haven't already smash the like button subscribe post notifications turned on appreciate your faces and as always i'll see you in the clouds